Hello, welcome to this special edition of CGTN Now. I'm in the central Chinese city of Kaifeng. And this special series of program is called The Real China. And we are broadcasting live China from different parts of this country. And we just started our famous trip from the country's capital, Beijing. And all the way, we're going to travel down through the country to the very southern Chinese city of Shenzhen, which is also the frontier of China's reform and opening up 40 years ago. As I said just now, I'm in the central Chinese, of, central Chinese city of Kaifeng, and this one used to be the capital of eight of ancient China for eight dynasties. And the city has over 4,000 years of history. Because of rich history, every year millions of visitors will come here to see, to have a bite of the ancient Chinese culture. And of course, now you can see now I'm on a boat. And now this place is based on models after the famous painting, what is it called, it's along the river during the Qingming, along the riverside during the Qingming Festival. And of course, joining me today is Miss Li Meidan, and she is going to give us a well-rounded description of this whole place. Hi, how are you? Would you like to say hi to our audiences, to our viewers around the world? Li Meidan. So, um, your clothing is very special, right? I think our viewers have found out that your clothing is very different. It's not modern, like the Chinese style. And can you talk about something about your clothing? So this clothing is very similar to the clothing that people used to wear in the Northern Song Disney about 1,000 years ago. So what's special about this uh, piece of clothing? Uh -huh. And this one is some kind of a special embroidery in Kaifeng, the central Chinese city. And the Kaifeng used to be the capital of ancient China for eight dynasties. It's quite a special. You can see exquisitely embroidered on the surface of the clothing. And of course, today we're not talking about clothing. And here we are on a boat. And we're going to talk about the, uh, what do we call it? The, uh, the park that is modeled after along the riverside during the Qingming Festival, a very famous painting um, by a very famous artist, a Zhang Zetuan, almost 1,000 years ago. So, would you like to talk about like the surroundings, what we are seeing, what we are looking at right now? It's very beautiful, and you can see this whole park is illuminating. Okay, so, so that is the office building. We're going to turn the camera a little bit over here to our right. So we're going to see something quite different. So on the wall, I can see the shade. Of, it's something like a painting. What is it? So basically what you see, you can see some lotus flowers right now. So the painting actually is a reflection of the uh, famous painting I said just now. It is along the riverside during the Qingming Festival almost a thousand years ago. So can you talk about this painting along the riverside but, uh, during the Qingming Festival? So it was painted at the very end of the Northern Song Dynasty in ancient China. Northern Song Dynasty, the end of it is around like 1,000 years ago. It's almost 1,000 years ago. I mean the authentic, the real painting. And personally, myself, the authentic one in the past museum in Beijing. 2016, and it took me six hours or seven hours to line up. To
它是从郊外郊区，然后呢往城里面走的繁华景象。就是描绘了当时北宋时候老百姓的市井生活。So it was basically about the daily lives of the、uh, citizens living in Kaifeng like 1,000 years ago, right? I don't. If it is only about the daily lives of people over that period of time, I don't find it very special. But what makes this painting quite special? This one. 呀、yeah, ，讲述我们这个市井生活，其实还是挺正常的一幅这个画卷哈。但为什么这幅图，它对于我们中国整个的这个画卷的这个历史有很大的意义呢？因为他这幅图画里面就涉及到了北宋时候的一些很多历史文化、一些民俗风情，包括当时的一些商业呀、啊、一些交通工具啊，还有一些建筑都比较多。Okay, so in the painting, actually, we can see the、uh, ancient architecture styles and also the、uh, daily lives and the business in the northern Song Dynasty, like 1,000 years ago, right? So it is very much like a fossil. The painting is very much like a fossil. That is the reason why it is so famous and so important in the history of Chinese painting. 主要是因为它相当于一幅活的一个化石一样的。对，就像记录了北宋时候的一一张老照片。And did you see the painting yourself, the real one? 你看过它这个真实真正的就是那个真版真迹吗？没有看过。Not yet. Okay. And of course, this is something definitely I should brag about. I saw the painting. I have seen it. I have seen it. In the Palace Museum. Okay, so now we have passed this bridge. This is red. So what is it? What is that bridge? It looks so special. This bridge is what? Can you tell us about it? This is Yuanyang Bridge. Its two sides are quite narrow. Its two sides have a bridge that connects the river to the Yuanyang Bridge. So it is called Mandarin Bridge, right? And it's the Mandarin Bridge. And what what does Mandarin mean? Actually, it means special in Chinese history. In Chinese history, this bridge has a special meaning. What does it mean? Its meaning is usually is love, right? So it means it's a special bridge. 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 Because they usually find, they find multiple partners. They are usually usually swapping partners. Yeah, yeah. But anyways, in the、uh, traditional Chinese culture, mandarin it means fidelity、uh, between a couple, right? So now we are we just passed the mandarin bridge, and now we are coming over to this place. So this is another bridge that we see. What is it? What is that bridge? It looks so. A little bit primitive. What is that bridge? This bridge is what? This is a bridge that is called the Mandarin Bridge. It is also called the Mandarin Bridge. Because in the Song Dynasty, this bridge was very popular. There were many different bridges. So it's a suspension bridge, right? Basically, it's a suspension bridge. Especially 1,000 years ago, we had plenty of them. Suspension bridge. So it's a suspension bridge. But how come we had suspension bridge? Because there were many different bridges. So it's a suspension bridge. But how come we had suspension bridges? Because there were many different bridges. So it's a suspension bridge. But how come we had suspension bridges? Because there were many different bridges. So it's a suspension bridge. But how come we had suspension bridges? Because there were many different bridges. So it's a suspension bridge. But how come we had suspension bridges? 因为在当时的话呢，这个汴河横穿了整个开封市，有河必有桥，所以它很多地方根据它的地势这种，然后就修建了有各种各样的桥梁。So basically, it was because of the system. The system back then was quite developed in the Chinese city of Kaifeng. So that is why we had plenty of bridges, like the suspension bridges, suspension bridge, and also saw the、uh, Mandarin Bridge just now. And now we have come. We have come to this place. It is so it's marvelous. I can see like flower gates, and the flowers actually are giving way for us. This is what we have done. We have done this bridge. 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 So, Huahai, basically in Chinese, literally, it means a sea of flowers. We can see different flowers, and also it represents different seasons. We have four seasons, from 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 no, from spring to winter. Okay, now we have come across to this part of this park. Now we can see that this ginormous water wheel over there. So, can you talk about the water wheel? Can you tell us about the water wheel? 这个水车的话呢，它是中国古代就是灌溉农田的一种工具，啊哈，是当时比较具有代表性的。Okay, so it was for irrigation, right? In the in, in ancient China, for irrigation, and what will this one is pretty big. How big is it? 这个有多大？
The diameter is around 20 meters, so it is a huge, it's a ginormous water wheel and it was used in the northern Song Dynasty almost 1,000 years ago, more than 1,000 years ago to be exact, for irrigation. And now, I see another one. What is it? It's very much like a water wheel. This is another one. Uh -huh. 它这个的话呢，就是利用它有大小水车，就是利用这个水的动力来带动这个水车的。Okay, so we just passed a big one. Now it is small one, right? So there is no difference between these two. 没有什么太大区别。呃，没有什么太大的区别，主要是靠这个大的，然后来灌溉水田，小的就是一个起到一个动力。Okay, that is lovely. So that one is very much like the driving water wheel, and the big one is for the engine system. Now. For those who just tune in, this is uh, CGTN and this is the special series of programs we have been doing and we are covering different parts of China to tell you different aspects of this country. Now I'm in the central Chinese city of Kaifeng, which used to be the capital of ancient China for eight dynasties. It has a history of over 4,000 years, can you believe it? And now we are literally on a boat traveling along a park, traveling around a park that is modeled after the famous painting 1,000 years ago called Along the Riverside, along the riverside during the Qingming Festival. And this painting actually is, plays a very important role in the Chinese history because it depicts, it best depicts the uh, daily lives of people who lived 1,000 years ago. So it was very much like a living fossil fuel. And I myself really saw the painting two years ago in the Palace Museum in, pa Palace Museum in Beijing. Now we have come to this part, the water wheel. So now we're about to, uh, to take the land, right? We're uh, now going to take the land, right? OK, so do, do we have anything special, anything surprising? When I leave the boat, or I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, so we're gonna see some buildings, right? It's modeled after so that some of the buildings that we can see in the uh, the painting I talked about just now and also we're gonna visit some of the shops. If you have set your sights on anything, please leave your comments down below on Facebook or Twitter and we'll get back to your questions as soon as possible. And we are about to leave the boat pretty soon. Careful. So here we go. So we're gonna take this So this one. For those who just tune in, this is CGTN. We're broadcasting live, and the special series is called The Real China. And we just started the Mammoth Trip in Beijing, the capital. And we are traveling all the way through. Tra tra we are traveling all the way down to the very southern Chinese city of Shenzhen. Also, the frontier of China's reform and opening up 40 years ago. And here, we are in the central Chinese city of Kaifeng, which used to be the capital of ancient China for eight dynasties that has a history of 4,000 years. And now we're going to see you. Just now we were on a boat showcasing like a different scenery. It's very beautiful. And now we are on land, finally. We're going to talk about something quite special. Especially we're going to have some souvenirs that you probably would find in a thousand years ago in the northern Song dynasty. So let's uh, hit the roads. Let's check it out. 这个城里面，我们现在是在城里面，特色的东西基本上都在郊外郊区。So this is very much like in the city, like one thousand years ago, right? According to the painting, and then how can you tell the difference? I I don't feel this is the city, and then how can you tell the difference between the city and the rural area? 它这个城里面，往外呢？再往前走的话，可以看到正对面，就是图画里面描绘到的城门楼。Okay, so this is the inner city, and over there you can see the gate, or the gate to the city, right? So, pass through this gate, that means we're out of the city officially. So, how about this building? This is the uh, tallest building in the painting, right? In the famous painting. 
Riverside during the Qingming Festival. This building is the most famous building in Qingming Shanghai, right? It is the largest building in the building. 规模比较大的一个建筑，标志性建筑物是一个分界线。Okay, so that is very much like literally like the threshold. So if I cross this building, this tall building, that means I'm out of the city. So and this gate, I can see that is called Shang Shan Men. What does it mean? Shang Shan Men 的话呢，它是取自上善若水的意思。因为水呢是利于万物，滋养着万物，但是水往低处流，不与万物争高下，这也是《道德经》中就是弘扬水的美德。Okay, so it is very much the name of this gate is from Taoism, and is from Shang Shan Ruo Shui. So literally in Chinese or in English, Shang Shan Ruo Shui is this like, like the upper kindness, like the kindest of the kindness, and is this like water because water is very much like that. It's very soft. Okay, it doesn't compete for anything or against anyone, but it is nurturing the nature, and that is why the gate is called Shang Shan Men or Shang Shan Gate, right? It means the gate is kind or something. I don't think so. But this gate, the gate is round, and for this one, the city gate is round, almost 30 meters tall. This gate is about 30 meters tall. 这个城门楼现在复原之后呢，它高是二十一点六米，面积是一千五百五十三平方米。Okay, so it is around 21.6 meters tall. Okay, and then it takes up around how, how much is that? It's a big number. Okay, so it is more than 1,500 square meters for this one, for this particular gate. In China, in China, if you were here, you would definitely find tons of gates like this. It's just very, it's huge, it's ginormous. And people use this gate actually as the fortress. So if you want to go into this city, and then usually you'd have this uh, symbol or something like that, a permit. Back then, like in the past, in different dynasties, of course, they had different rules and regulations. It's very interesting. So where do we go right now? Now we are going to go to which place? 我们现在的话呢，就已经来到了图画里面描绘到的郊外郊区，所以我们正前方看到的都是按照当时的郊外郊区来修建的一些景观建筑。So this is the rural area, right? It is very beautiful. I can see the river once again. A lot of river, a lot of water here in the park, and that I find is extremely quiet. 这个地方还挺安静的，啊哈。So we're gonna have to, uh, we're gonna visit some of the super. A shop to find out what they have, especially in the past. Some of them actually were some of them actually were enlisted on the national heritage list. So let's check them out. Yeah, we're now So let's take that way. What is that? What is that place? Okay, so we rules over them. It's quiet. It's park. Are there many visitors around this time of year? Usually, 每年这个时候，它这个游人来这的多吗？多。游客量最多的时候达到有七万多人。七万多人。Okay, so like the uh, when it comes to the climate, there could be around seventy thousand visitors in this small place. It is quiet, and then so we're gonna go to one of the shops, right? We're now going to one of the shops, right? We're now going to one of the shops, right? We're now going to one of the shops, right? We're now going to one of the shops, right? We're now going to one of the shops, right? We're now going to one of the shops, right? We're now going to one of the shops, right? We're now going to one of the shops, right? We're now going to one of the shops, right? We're now going to one of the shops, right? We're now going to one of the shops, right? We're now going to one of the shops, right? We're now going to one of the so we're gonna see some artifacts in the Northern Song Dynasty, like one thousand years ago, and then we're gonna have some swords and also some blades or something like that, like weapons. We're gonna see some 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 weapons. 它有什么样的刀剑？什么样的特色？这个宋朝的刀剑的话，一般就是比较锋利，比较软一些。啊哈
very resilient, right? I think, according to my understanding, very sharp. In the meantime, they are soft. So that means all the weapons in the Northern Song Dynasty, they were very resilient. And that is one of the features, right? That could make the weapons in the Northern Song Dynasty different from the weapons in some any other dynasty in ancient China. So we can see a lot of the shops here and we have finally arrived at this place. And we're going to see some weapons 1,000 years ago. Okay. Over here, I can see two cleavers. I can see two cleavers over here. Two cleavers. Huge cleavers. Wow, that is something. Okay, so let's go into the shop and check them out. Let's see what we have over here. Okay. We to this place, the Hello. Okay, so can you talk about the weapons we have here? So what what makes the uh, weapons here, the swords here, very special? Uh, okay. Okay, the handles are quite different. I can see that, like this one is, is something like a bamboo. It's like a uh, And this one is a very different. It is very much like a, the shuttle that we use in the past to make textiles. And this one is a bamboo again. So that is one of the features that could make this board different. And also the case, or we call it the sheath of this board, is also very different. And uh, I can see like some of the carvings and this one, it is the craft is exquisitely made. And what is it? What is this on it? This one is what is it? It's some kind of a strange animals in ancient China, right? It's like a tiger. It's like a tiger. Yes, it's like a tiger. That is very interesting. Okay, so swords in the... Uh, Northern Song Dynasty, 1,000 years ago, tons of them, different styles. Does this mean that in the past, actually, the residents, so residents were allowed to use swords in their daily lives? Okay, so the residents were actually not allowed also, the ordinary people were not allowed to use these spores, and only the officials, they were allowed to use these spores, or probably uh, some heroes in the past and soldiers, of course. That is very lovely. And then, so for those who just joined us, this is CGTN, we are broadcasting live. And now I'm in the central Chinese city of Kaifeng, which used to be the capital of ancient China for eight dynasties. And we just visited one of the... Uh, shops in this uh, place in the park that is modeled after the famous painting 1000 years ago along the riverside during the Qingming festival the weapons were quite different and very resilient very exquisitely made so now we're going to move on to the next place right and earlier you said we're going to see the embroidery in the northern Song dynasty so can you talk about the special features of the uh, Embroidery we had in the past here that is native here. Tamajigo, woman, Dashi, Yitan, Tsusho, Dandi, Tsusho, Shaman, Tertia. Jigo, Besson, Shoda, Bian, Show, the Huana, Tajo, Bolo, Bian, Fong, Bijo, Si, Ni, Jenfa. Okay, so very neatly made, exquisitely made, right? The, uh, we call it the, uh, embroidery in the Northern Song Dynasty. Okay, and anything special because we have different types of embroidery in China and like in the uh, southern Chinese city, in the uh, coastal city, no, in uh, Jiangsu province and we have Su embroidery and what, what's the uh, difference between these two kinds of embroidery? Do you have any difference? Okay, so it has a history of over 1,000 years, right? Embroidery usually, the all different kinds of them all have long histories, of course. And anything else, 
传承性都是很长的，有一千多年。然后它还有其他的一些什么样的特点呢？其他的一些特点的话呢，就是阵法比较细腻，就是不露边缝，就是你不管是从反面还是正面都是看不到边缝的。Okay, so from both sides. Okay, the front of it and all the back of it, you don't see the the lining or something, right? So very exquisite made. So it take them how how long does it take one person to be dexterous at these special skills? 这个多长时间能够去学好这个刺绣呢？当时在宋朝的时候，宋朝的时候学的比较快，大概的话也就几天就能够学会。A couple of days for them to be good at this embroidery. Okay, that has a history of over one thousand years. Seriously, this 几天就能学会什么 And how about like the、uh, the themes they have? You know, some of the brides where they usually focus on flowers. Some of them probably on birds. And what about the embroidery here in Kaifeng? This, some of the embroidery, it is. 风格是比较着重于这个鸟兽类的，有的是花类。我们这儿的呢，刺绣呢。开封这边的刺绣，它主要也是以这种花类为主。Okay, so it's usually about flowers in the past, right? And the Kaifeng, as far as I know, what is the、uh, what is the symbol of this city? This Kaifeng is also its own symbol. Okay, so the symbol of this city is, or the flower of this city is chrysanthemum, right? Very, very beautiful item. I know that the flower of this city is chrysanthemum, right? Very Very beautiful. I know the capital of China now, Beijing, and the、uh, the flower of Beijing is also chrysanthemum. That is why they have something in common, right? And here it used to be the capital of China for eight dynasties, and now Beijing they have this. They do definitely share something quite similar. That is very interesting. But unfortunately, we didn't see that. We didn't see some embroideries because it is a.、Uh, Closed up. Now let's、uh, go on to some other shop and see something different. 那我们现在去看一下其他的一些我们当地的非常有特色的东西。行，咱往这边走。Okay. What is this? So what is next thing that we're gonna see? 我们现在下面要看什么？咱们接下来可以看一下开封的火绣烙画。Okay. That is interesting. What is it? What is this? Is some kind of painting? Made by fire or something? That is, you use fire to make some painting. It is mainly made by fire. 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 It is mainly made So we can see this one. What is it? It's made of、uh, what is a fleece, right? This is yarn wool. Yes, yarn wool. The yarn wool pattern. And then they use. It's not fire, so it has anything. It doesn't have anything to do with fire, right? Usually, you would fire the iron, and then you use the iron that is burned up to draw some paintings on the fleece on this mat that is made from fleece. So this. Very beautiful. It is also very hard to make. I'm afraid. This 应该是也非常去难去画的吧。如果要是非常一个不小心的话 ，and the whole painting would go south. 一个不小心的话，这整个一幅图就毁了。它这个的话呢，就是没有底稿，就是它这位老师都是随心而画的，就是基本上也很难做出两幅一模一样的作品。Okay, so one thing about this art is they don't have any draft. So every time we're gonna have something quite different, right? That really depends. Each time, each single individual time, you're gonna have something quite different. So you wouldn't find another one that is like this, right? And let's have a look at some other paintings, and it's all quite similar. I can see the、uh, Chinese dragon over here. Is it Chinese dragon? So it's like the same style, right? Matte, and then you use the iron burned up to draw some paintings. Quite different. I can see horses, and I can see the、uh, hero in ancient China, and I can also see a Chinese dragon. 
That is lovely. What was special thing? Anything else special about these paintings? Then, 还有其他的特别之处吗？特别之处的话呢，它这个就是。因为它这是羊毛毡垫做的，就是用烙铁烧酒之后呢，可以闻得出有这个胶原蛋白的味道。Okay, so you can smell the burning of protein. Okay, so it's it's supposed to smell really good, right? Most people like barbecue is only because that is smell the smell of the burning of protein, right? It smells really good, but I don't smell anything now. 但现在的话，我好像闻不到了。啊，对，它这个时间久了之后，味道也会散去。就是刚开始做的时候，这个味道是特别大的。哦、uh-huh. 哈 ，So this is the first time for me to see this kind of art form. So is it very special? Only special here. You can only find them in Kaifan. And then how about ordinary people? Do they have those paintings at home? 在家里边，我们开封的话也都是每家都有这样的画吗？啊，差不多，就很多爱好这方面都会收藏一幅这样的画。Okay, so they're gonna have a collection of those paintings, right? This is my first time to see those art forms. So, for those who just tuned in, this is CGTN. We are broadcasting live in the central Chinese city of Kaifeng, which used to be the capital of China for eight dynasties, and this city has a history of over four thousand years. And this special series of program is called the Real Time China, and we just started a special program. We just started our mammoth trip from our capital Beijing, and we are going to tra- travel all the way down through the to the coastal city of Shenzhen, which is also the frontier of China's reform and opening up. And of course, if you like our post, then don't forget to give us a heart and don't forget to share this post with your friends. And we're going to see you next time. See you.